actually Victor has American accent. You can't get him like easily. Yo, in fact, I, uh, I am from the University of America. No, I came here last year. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yo, is, you say you're from America? Yeah, yeah. This one is Shem. <laughs> so, so, as I was saying, uh, here in Kenya, this. Uh, it's a very weird fact. Mm. Um, so the mosquitoes are lo- all over Kenya, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's only it's only two areas where you can actually get malaria. But anywhere else, you can be bitten by mosquitoes, and, you don't and there's malaria. nothing wrong. Even right here, there are mosquitoes. We all bitten by mosquitoes here. Yeah, no you never get. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the area whereby the the female anopheles mosquitoes. Wait, cut, uh, no, no, not yeah. to interrupt you. Yeah. He's explaining uh, that uh, here in Kenya there are uh, mosquitoes, but not everywhere you can get bitten by mosquito and get malaria. So that's what he's explaining yeah, yeah. so uh, areas around uh, the lake the lake region yeah. that is um, the nyanza area yeah. and uh, mombasa yeah. Only. Yeah. those are the places whereby if you get if you get unlucky yeah. and you get bitten by the only the female anopheles mosquito that is infected by the plasmodia yeah. that's you get malaria yeah. all in two places yeah. mombasa areas along the coast somewhere there how about masai mara and, uh, masai mara uh, not much yeah. Yeah, but if you, you are from Migori, you are around there, so... Yeah, yeah, Migori is around. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, today I'll be vlogging. Today I'm not uh, I'm not going to uh, to ride motorbike. Today I'm gonna take you through all around Nairobi. So I have some news to share with you. Uh, today we're gonna be driving. Uh, I need to show you that. Uh, I need to tell you that after a long time of being here in Nairobi, here in Kenya, uh, without <laughs> finding a manual car to drive. Today we're gonna be driving a manual car. Guess what? Uh, what kind of car is it? It's an old car, a Toyota G12, uh, probably from um, in late 90s, and uh, the car is manual and it's in its right side. You know, back in my country in Rwanda, we drive from left side. Uh, so today I'm gonna be challenging myself to drive on, on Kenyan roads so and uh, apart from that I've been sick uh, since from that time uh, from that time coming from Nyabohansi you know I use Masai Mara to come to to Narok but what I can tell you is that the road was very dusty so it looks like uh, the dust was too much for my body and uh, my body couldn't hold on and I got sick, but thank God I'm, uh, I'm on medication, uh, I'm recovering slowly. So guys, come with me, but before, let me show you around uh, my neighborhood. Uh, as you can see, this, I'm, at the, I'm, the, I'm at the rooftop. Uh, let me show you this view, this view is so, so beautiful, so beautiful. So after that, we are going to to drive the car, of which I need to show you guys. So before going down to the car, I kindly request uh, those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please kindly do so. I really, uh, I really request guys to help me, support me. Then uh, those who watch my video without subscribing, kindly. Uh, subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it so let's go down okay uh, as you can see I'm down to the car yeah so here is the car it's Coro Toyota is it Toyota Corolla or a Toyota G12 guys let me know in the comment which which, which brand of, of a car is, is, it, is this so I'm gonna be driving this car today in around the streets of uh, Nairobi city today so I can show you inside uh, sorry it's not visible yet maybe uh, because this parking is uh, 
in basement but now as you can see the car is manual this is the gear level all right the plan is uh, uh, driving to Nairobi we're gonna head to Nairobi mind you we uh, I stay in in Kiambu County this is Kiambu County so the plan is driving to Loaka better uh, then from Loak, uh, no, no, driving to Isli. Isli is Nairobi. Then from Isli, we look a way of. Uh, I mean, we'll find uh, where to go. So uh, let's go. Uh, let me uh, open the uh, the gate. Then we will leave for for Isli now. But before that, I need to I need to take the car to car wash <laughs> because the car is dirty. The owner of the car has been using it for farming activities. So let's go. Guys, I'm already in the car <laughs> and I'm excited. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be going now. Yeah. So, um, about, uh, about the last trip of Maasai, guys, I can tell you the trip was tough was tough with extreme, with extreme rough road um, guys I didn't show you my bike still has uh, in fact I need to change the, the rear tire uh, the rear tire has totally worn out it's totally worn out so I need to change the rear tire after changing the rear tire I will have to change the, the chain drive so after changing the chain drive uh, I think the car will be then uh, I will uh, the, the motorbike will be back in the in good life all right so uh, guys uh, let's now uh, exit then we go okay uh, guys as you, can, as you can see we have already set off and we are going and the car is smooth it feels like a brand new one and uh, I think uh, we have to I, I, I think we have to pass through the, the car wash before uh, continuing to town because the car looks so dirty and uh, yes after the car wash then uh, we're gonna continue to town to those places I told you. I tell you, we are we, we, we are heading to Esli first, or we are Esli then Otawala. Oh, so we are heading to Esli. Then from there we will be heading to Otawala. Come along with travel in Tirusha. As I'm driving the old car in Nairobi, I'm so excited. Uh, guys, uh, I've already arrived in the car wash. Uh, uh, let me show you the car. They are trying to park it. This is the car KAU6, no KAU5248. So we're gonna be spending here like uh, 40 minutes uh, for, because they need to do full wash inside and uh, outside. Then uh, after that time, we're gonna be going, we're gonna be continuing to town. Yes, guys, uh, the car wash is almost done, but, but because of the way the car was dirty, it's not yet clean. It doesn't, it doesn't look like the car is, 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 is clean, and uh, the boot. Looks like the boot they were carrying the, the mud or what, but anyway, they've, they've, they've tried to reduce the, the thing. So, we are about to go. And people behind me, maybe they were, they were thinking, I was thinking that maybe people behind me are assuming that I'm an old man who is driving his old car. <laughs> I could see people overtaking me and now looking at me they were like wow look at this <laughs> okay but uh, 
uh, but the car is good, it's smooth. Apart from the car, it's shaking, uh, like makes noise. Like if you are uh, driving in rough road, it makes noise. But uh, everything else, the car has power. You don't have to shift and shift and shift, down shift, down shift. So uh, I think the car is, 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 is good, it's good. Yeah, for me, I'm okay. For me, this is the kind of car I like. I like the old vintage cars. I don't like these new brand new cars. And I like the I like manual cars more than uh, automatic cars. So this is the right car for me. So I'm uh, I'm with my friend my friend is called Joseph Lisuza. And he was telling me I was asking him the 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 meaning of his name and he was telling me that his name has uh, it means managu. Managu is a kind of vegetable here they have here in Kenya and it's amazing how huh? they've named him after the, that. Joseph, yeah. I think uh, um, I can go. Yeah. Uh, I, will, I, 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 I will take the car back on uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll be around. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Sunday. Yeah. Then tomorrow, I need you to clean it, like, Everything. properly, properly. See you? Yeah. Now, you see the car is not, uh, doesn't look like it's clean. But tomorrow, yeah, the car is old, but try, try your best. See you? Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow, try your best, clean it. Then, I think uh, it will be clean by tomorrow. Aye. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm. Okay, guys, we are going. Okay, Joseph. Okay. All right, uh, guys, as you can see, we already got out of the car wash, and uh, I'm coming from the petrol station, and uh, I need to. We've already fueled, we fueled uh, around 2K5, 2,500 shillings. And we are heading to uh, Eastleigh now. Heading to Eastleigh. Do you think how far is it? Like 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers? Yeah. Okay, okay. So guys, um, we are walking down the, this, this road, uh, Luakabete Road. And uh, you can, as you can see, the, the weather is good. Enjoying the ride. I mean by you are going to Migori, then the same day you need to come back, then you are moving. Yeah, but uh, January and the It means that it means this is this our this is going to be our last night. See you. What do you mean? I'm just going to Migori shortly, then I'll be back. You are saying you are coming back on the fourth. I'm not sure. I will come back immediately. I'm done with organizing things for her. I'll be back even immediately. Yeah. It can even be after two days. Will I have organized everything after two days? I'm not sure. I'm asking. I'll let you know, but I'm not going to take long. Blink Security. This company is is the most is 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 known. Where? All over Kenya in Uganda. In Kenya the most prominent is G4A. Oh G4A. 
Oh. The most trusted. Oh. Fundi wa simu. So we are turning here. Yeah, I think we should go this way. But some we turn from there. Let's turn from that uh, that side. We can cross now. Come with cross. And come again. Yes. Are you not feeling hungry? No. <laughs> are you normal? No, we just said breakfast. Imagine that. And I've eaten much breakfast than you. I feel like I'm still very full. Okay. But if you want to eat something, it's okay. Yeah, I, I, I think... Uh, I think... Pumbe. Uh, I realize that this place is full of sick kids. They are drinking those, those, those things. What are those things they are drinking? Blue. Blue? They are yes. sniffing. Those are the only sniff. They can't drink. Yeah, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are sniffing. End the end the bro. Where are you organizing traffic? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're a driver, sometimes if somebody hits something, you feel bad. So it comes naturally. You know when you start driving. The time no, you... me, I don't mind because. Ah. <laughs> Let me tell you, no. the, time is, the time you start driving uh. and you get hit twice, that's when you know what I'm doing, what I was doing there. If I'm also driving as a that child, that's fine. But I'm just walking. Uh. Hey, you do whatever you want. <laughs> even if hitting? Yeah, you hit whatever you want to hit. I won't even talk to you. Oh. So this is where they take the buses to Moyale. Yeah. You can't go twice. Yeah, yeah. The last time I came to Italy, hey. I think it was like like five years ago. Five, oh, yeah, my God. So, we came so like the way I'm new here is the same way as you. Yes, and hey. it's not like I came to walk around. I brought someone hey. and they knew where they were going. You see, hey. so we came. Hmm. We alighted from the matatu. Hey. They went straight to where they were going, hey. picked whatever they were picking, hmm. get back to the matatu. So you see, I didn't even walk around. I don't even know. Okay. That's the bus to Garissa. It's called Garissa Garissa Coach. It's even written. But how come there are no Muslims? The, the other day when I came, I saw a lot of them. Or maybe a lot we're of still what? Muslims. Ah. Or maybe we're still not yet in yeah, the Maybe we are still not yet inside. Yeah. But but if you try to see the shop owners, they are Muslims. Yeah. Look at that side. What uh, type of mattress will you buy? We get a small one. Simple one. Yeah. But yeah. I need um I need a strong one because yeah. she might stay in that school for like four years. Okay. So you don't you don't have to buy mattress every year. Yeah, I don't buy yeah. something that I'll keep buying every year. Like for for last in Rwanda. We have uh, like some well-known brands, mm -hmm. known to be reliable. Yeah. Even here, still. Yeah. Uh, the Doctor Mattress, the Poa. Uh, uh, how about Magdala Ma Ma Dodoma? <laughs> yeah? Magdala Dodoma is a Tanzanian brand. <laughs> we have it in Rwanda. I don't think it's common here. Uh, 
But it was supposed to be there, right? That's those sides of Migori. You guys are close to Tanzania. Yeah. No. I even I, I, I even think that there are some products you find in the you cannot find here. See Because of Tanzania access. Yeah. You see this blue one? It's yeah. a good one, but this is a second hand one. Oh. It's called Japan Poa. It's called Ma. Magodolo Poa am I It's just called Poa. Just that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we are inside I think. And you need this kind of mirror. I know you like mirror. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a dressing table. Of course I need one. You, you value mirror. Oh my god. How can I leave the house without seeing myself? What if my, my face changes in the night? <laughs> And I think also hey. we shouldn't maintain the highway. Hey. We should also we have go. to pass through the, yeah, the slums. <laughs> They're not safe. Huh. And uh, and most probably those within those those small streets, there are a lot of mud. But open. Should a lot of matopis. Come here, one can make suitcase. 3,000, 3,500. Not those 7,000. Oh, suitcase. For the same size? Yeah. Are you sure you'll find? Oh, watch us. <laughs> this is the same. Hey. I came here for nothing. Hey. Hey. I see someone selling bags there. Can we go check out? Yeah, of course. You can go and ask, Quality. Quality the one is for yesterday, you are looking Medium. for L. You are looking for yeah, large. So large. this is large? Yeah, large. Hini. Ah, okay. Hini? Large. 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 That one is, is assurance. We'll have to go to come back. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, the bay in the same. Same, same, same race. Bye. 
but uh, I, I don't think she has a lot of things. Do you think so? That uh, you cannot get an M size? Medium? Yeah. But you know this will be like her home. I know, yeah. I know, I know, but you know she's still small. So it's not like she's she's in, she's still in, uh, in in primary, right? Yes. Yeah, so she doesn't need a lot of things. So even M can work. Sure. And unless you don't want to buy when she's going to secondary school, that's why. You you want it to be like uh, for a long time of period. Even when she wants I'm to... I'm just imagining hey. her shopping, you know, they even carry food. Hey. Some snacks, her clothes, her books. Okay, okay. Le uh, okay, let's get this. Let's get this. Guys, I'm still in Italy and... Um, I'm sorry for not recording the whole street because it was looking weird. People were like, these guys recording us. So I had to stop recording. But uh, so far, I've got what I was looking for and uh, I was looking for this suitcase as you can see and inside I've bought some other things like uh, mirror, house mirror, uh, uh, blanket, uh, and what? Yes, that's what I got. Then um, I think uh, uh, I... I uh, I'm going to now Utawala. I'm going to Utawala. The car is here. This is where, this is where I parked the car. So I had to leave, to leave the car because I was not ready. Like I was, I mean, I was not sure where I will park. As I'm new to this, uh, it was my first time to come to Isle. So I've, I've parked here. So now I'm, I'm about to to drive and go back. Yeah. So. Let's open. Let's open. Then we go. Let me keep this bag inside. But I have to keep it here. The car door is. This is African car. Yeah. Shit. I have to keep to keep this uh, this suitcase behind, eh? Yeah. Let me uh, keep it. Yeah. Yeah. I think from here. We are ready to go, but I don't know where I have put the key. Where did I put the keys? Where did I put the keys? I can't find the keys. <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. Keys. Yeah. I'm gonna now uh, look for my the PS the the spare parts of the, my bike of my bike and. Um, Guys, uh, I'm enjoying. Let me take you. Let me show you the view ahead. The car is performing well, very well. Though the problem was uh, cleanliness, but uh, that's not an issue if the car is moving well. And uh, uh, I'm still trying to catch up with the. this part we are joining the Pika highway this is a 
a well-known road here in Kenya. It's a, a a well-known road so we are driving towards the highway and we're gonna uh, we're gonna join the, the highway then uh, then from here uh, let me show you the highway down down there so that's the highway so here in Kenya we drive uh, uh, they, they don't hoot usually but you have to be keen you have to be keen because uh, here uh, everybody do drives how, however he's feeling they don't follow road code you might be thinking that maybe you are in right then somebody hits you yeah that's the thing so we are, we are heading to to Garden City to look for I'm looking for the Rio tire and the chain sprocket complete yes then from there I will be driving home heading home yeah. so guys uh, I'm uh, at Kibunda's custom Bike's garage, and uh, I'd like to give him to say something. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Kibunza Customs. This is the garage. Um, we'll show you around, and uh, you'll see what we do. And I'm with uh, another good friend of mine. Uh, he's called Collins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? I had to switch off the music for copyright. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is yes. how? Good, good. Yeah, yeah. So my name is Collins. Yeah, yeah right. The the taken. You can put it out there. Yeah, my channel is 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 going to be up soon, very soon. What's the name of your channel? Um, I'm going to call it a Mutina Racing Team. M Mutina. <laughs> Mutina Racing Team. <laughs> That one is taken, my friend. That was taken, man. Mutina Racing Team. That one or, taken. oh, okay. Mutina Racing Team. Mutina Racing Team. For the kikus in the house, you understand what I mean. Mm. Mutina Racing Team. Okay. Mean, yeah. Or, um, or maybe I just call it New Vill. But New Vill. Okay, I haven't decided, but I'll let you know. Yeah, All right, you let us know. But Oh, wow, and here comes it. another friend of ours, Victor. <laughs> Victor, our mechanic. I am the mech. He's, he's the guy who the fixed my, yeah. my. He's the guy who fixed my Haujin hook. Yes, yeah, I'm the mech now. I'm, call me Victor. Uh -huh. And this one is Trusha, my good friend of mine from Run Around. I can't even react. He has, he has an, an American accent. Oh, oh so this, this, this is my bike. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> my beast now. Okay. This is a Shinari 250. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually. Victor has American accent. You can't get him like easily. Yo, in fact, I, I, I'm from the University of America. No, I came here last year. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Uh, uh -huh. Yo, is, you say you're from America? Yeah, yeah. This one is him. <laughs> so, he's from America. Let, let me finish introduction. I'm with another friend of mine. He's called James. He rides Apache 200 cc. One of the only four. The yeah. only four. Tell them something. Tell them my friend something. I tell your friend something. Yeah, tell them friend something. I'm riding the bike. The only four bikes. The in only Kenya. four bikes. The only four, four bikes in Kenya. Guys, yeah. did you know that in Kenya, and they, the only, they are only I'm the only person with the match red. Yeah. Mm. So in Kenya, we, we only have four pieces of Apache 200. We have black. We have white. We have mm. red, and we have a grey one. Mm. Wow. So we have one three ten. That's an uh, that's an interesting fact in yeah. Kenya, like but you know in Rwanda we have uh, like a ton of them. Like everybody in Apache Apache two hundred. Like everybody in Rwanda almost everybody in Rwanda has Apache two hundred. Like Apache is like uh, kind of uh, how can I say high end bike. High end bike, yeah. yeah. But here like, Apache is like I've not even seen people doing border with uh, this 200. 180. 180? 180. Ah, it's not uh, 200. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm with another friend. Here. <laughs> uh, can you Hi. introduce yourself, bro? My name is Michael, and I'm a biker 
Yeah. What bike do you ride? Uh, Kuga. Kuga, Everlast Kuga. Everlast Kuga, yeah. Oh, where is it? Ah, uh, it's over there. Ah. Yeah, in, in Rwanda do you have Kuga? No, we don't have. Oh. In Rwanda we don't have Kuga. Like, mm. if I can tell you from here, we don't have that trees. Mm. Which one is this? Uh, this is uh, Dayun. Dayun we don't have? Which one, which one is this? We don't have. Mm. Which one is this? Uh, Yamaha. Yamaha we have. Yamaha, Yamaha is from everywhere. Another friend arrived right now. He's oh, our, no, no, no. our our main guest, bro. I don't want to be camera. No camera. No camera. But you are my friend. Are you not? I'm your friend, but I don't. Want to be. Please say hi, bro. He's one of the most. Yes. Say hi, man. Say hi. Only only hi. <laughs> then you go. Hi. Yeah, I want to record. Uh, you are telling me about amazing part about what? Oh, okay. Let me switch off this for <laughs> <laughs> for copyright issues. <laughs> okay. So, as I was saying, mm. uh, here in Kenya, this uh, it's a very weird fact. Mm. Um, so the mosquitoes are all over Kenya, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's only it's only two areas where you can actually get malaria. But anywhere else, you can be bitten by mosquitoes, and, you don't and there's nothing wrong. Even right here, there are mosquitoes. We all bitten by mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah no you never get. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the area whereby the the female anopheles mosquitoes. Wait, got, uh, no, uh, not yeah. to interrupt you. Yeah. He's explaining uh, that uh, here in Kenya there are uh, mosquitoes, but not everywhere you can get bitten by mosquito and get malaria. So that's what he's explaining. Yeah. So uh, areas around uh, the left, the left region, yeah. that is um, the Nyanza area yeah. and uh, Mombasa. Only yeah. yeah. those are the places whereby if you get, if you get unlucky, yeah. and you get bitten by the only the female Anopheles mosquito that is infected by the Plasmodia, yeah. that's you get malaria. Yeah. Only in two places, yeah. Mombasa areas along the coast, somewhere there. How about Masai Mara? And, uh, Masai Mara, uh, not much. Uh. much. Yeah, but if you, you are from Migori, you are around there, so... Yeah, yeah, Migori is around. Yeah, but here in Nairobi, yes. all over, people are bitten. That's why um, the statistics of all, anybody who is in Nairobi area, if you, are, if you go to the hospital, then they diagnose you with your malaria. Uh, the first thing they'll ask you, have you been traveling? Ah, yeah. okay. Because no one gets malaria in around in Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah. And get other diseases. <laughs> that's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. That yeah. here, a mosquito doesn't transmit malaria because they're not infected. Did, by the way, guys, did you know that uh, for you to be infected by malaria, it's not only to be bitten by, by a mosquito. It's it, only infected mosquito mm. is it's the a one. Female. We, we are a female uh, anopheles, anopheles mosquito, mosquito yeah. is the one which causes malaria. But another female, like male mosquito, doesn't yeah. transmit malaria. Male mosquitoes doesn't, doesn't transmit malaria. Mm. How about Kuala? Have you ever been to Kuala? Kuala, yeah, it's close to Kuala. No, no, no. no. Mm. But the areas where, but the the proximity to the the ocean. I don't know. I don't know the whole idea about this. But uh, that's I, I okay. I have a friend who's a doctor and who told me about this. You know they do they normally go to these uh, doctors' conventions and then they they bring all the data together and then they share yeah. just to uh, just to understand how the country is in terms of diseases and everything. And Marele is one of the uh, uh, the highest. It kills a lot of people in the world. Yeah, yeah, even, so, yeah. Even so they have to be like very serious about it. So you see facts like this one, they have to gather them. They fix them. They fix it. They fix it. And uh, finally, who is this? The legend himself. The legend himself. The legend himself. <laughs> Wahobi. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All so right. yeah, that's it, man. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to correct a uh, mix of content. Uh, I was uh, recording some video when I was driving around the city. Then, uh, so you want a place where you can actually record uh, very good content? Yeah, yeah. That's why it's not so good. Yeah. So let me give you some suggestions. Uh, this is a route I normally use because when, whenever I go home, uh, I normally avoid. I'm, a, I'm an adventure biker. I don't like. Uh, being on the highways with other cars. The drivers in Kenya, they are, let me be honest, they are crazy. That's true. So you, okay, I want, I want you, you add some effect when I say they are crazy. Let me show you. Show you. So let me say it again. Let me be honest, drivers in Kenya are crazy. They are very crazy, man. Like, here's my experience. So, assuming this is the way, hey. Come, come forward, kiddo. Yeah, happen yourself. Mm. Okay. So this is what happened. Yeah. 
the dining room. So this is what happened. Oh. This is the way, right? This is the way, right? Yeah. So I was coming from from Eldoret. Yeah. I was past past Gilgil. Yeah. Now going to Nairobi. Yeah. Okay. So here, this is the route, the the lane for the guys who are going now to Eldoret. Yeah. And then this is the lane for people going now to Nairobi. Yeah. So over here, there was a trailer. This trailer on the other side of the shoulder, it was being overtaken by another car. Mm. And then on my lane now where I was, a bus was overtaking the trailer. So I, I was pushed to the shoulder. Funny enough, another Subaru came and was overtaking the bus on the shoulder. So I was pushed way out of the road. Oh, Drivers wait. in Kenya are crazy, man. Chris, that's true. That's true. crazy. I mean, there, there was a documentary, BBC documentary. Have you seen it? Have yeah. You seen it? yeah, 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 yeah. Kenyan killer roads. That yeah, that title is, is threatening. <laughs> and it's true. It's yeah. true. It's true. Hmm? Yeah, actually, this first time I came to Kenya, I, I I was wondering if whether I will manage to drive or ride in Kenya, but so far I thank God that. <laughs> yeah. Most amazing. of them, not all of them. Yeah, yeah. Most, most of, them. of them are. They, we call it, we call it bad manners. But there are so I've seen, I've met with so many. Let me tell you a story. Yeah. On my way coming with that car, mm -hmm. I was doing sixty bucks. Mm -hmm. People were thinking maybe I'm I'm not I'm not busy. Mm. And they were like, <laughs> "Oh, taking really." Yeah. <laughs> they wondered why yeah. you're going too slow. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. But you're having fun, right? You had fun. Very fun. Very very. Fun. Well, speaking fun. about routes, I was to give you an idea of. Uh, yes, uh, about the road option. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, uh, whenever you want to plan to go to Eldoret, okay, we can use other routes, but from Nakuru, yeah. not to Eldoret, you don't use the the main route. Yeah. There's another one. Yeah. You go like as if you're going now to um, Baringo, there's a route. Baringo? To, Baringo from where? From the, oh, Eldamaravin, yeah. From where? Just from Nakuru. Start from, uh, from Nakuru. From Nakuru, yeah. you take the route to Ravine. Ravine. You actually go to Ravine. Ravine, okay. So you go straight, you get to a place called... Um, a junction is called junction mm -hmm. so you leave that one going to mogotio mm -hmm. you go to this one going to ravine mm -hmm. when you get to ravine then from ravine now you'll go uh, all the way now to Elra. it's a very scenic route it's very it's, scenic. yeah it's very scenic, scenic. Huh? yeah scenic and uh, it's it's also no no let me save it bro i need to use save it i will let me i will use it very very soon okay open the maps i show you the route it's way easier you, you you've used it huh? yeah i use it i use i actually use that one where's the maps um let's take Kuro. So when you are here in Nakuru, right? Mm. Let me see. Yeah. So this is the route I'm talking I'm telling you about. Mm. So yeah, here you're in Nakuru. Mm. You see you're in Nakuru here. Yeah. So you take this route. This one, mm. this one Kiyamuni. Oh yes, anyone primary. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you'll pass Kabarak University. Yeah. You continue using this route. Mm. Then there's a junction somewhere around here. You'll actually even pass the equator. It's called Equator Tortoise Park. Very cool place. Mm. Use this route to. There is a place called. Um, there's a place called. Uh, we won't get into Mar Marigat. There is a route here. Somewhere in the middle here. Even before Mugotio. The one that takes you to, to a place called Ravine. The the Ravine. Ravine. Yeah. Actually it's this one here. Is this a, is this is it tarmac? It's it's tarmac, <laughs> but um yeah, this is the call it's called Rubies Ravine Ravine Junction. Okay. You take this route. Mm. So these routes are very nice. It's actually very lonely but mm. very scenic you can even tell the way it looks mm. so you get to now elder maravine mm. so you don't go back here this is baringo high school this is elder maravine now you use this so here mm. is where things really get inter interesting mm. you see there's a there's a there's a forest here there's a forest over here the road is meandering mm. um and by the way you'll be at the edge of the rift valley mm. so you'll be seeing the valley itself this it's called the elder Ma the ravine now mm. yeah the Rift Valley flow. So you use this route, you can even tell, look, just look at the forest that you go in in, in between. Mm. Then go to Torongo, you, you get to a place called Metke, uh, Kamsowar, like that, Kapchile Bay, you get to Nyaru, then now you head now to Elders. So this is Kaptagat, Naiberi, Kaps campsite, then you now get to Elders. Oh, so it's a difference of uh, 35 so, kilometers. But you, now, you, like, after after reaching, like, the Maravine, mm. I can easily reach there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So uh, when you compare the routes, when yeah. you use how about distance? Is the distance yeah. the same as this yeah. other route? Uh, when you compare the distances, is a difference of 35 km. This one is longer by 35 km. But on the like petrol stations are yeah, I mean, it's a it's a proper route. It's okay. a proper route. But it's only that uh, I don't know the communities that are living there. Mm. They are, they are much more disciplined, I can say that. I've never been bullied around, around those areas. Actually, they admire you, seeing you riding a big bike around those areas. But these are, these are the guys, oof, sad. Uh, they are crazy! We have to, crazy so guys, uh, we have to take that route. Mm. Um, uh, don't worry, like, very, very soon I will be riding to Eldoret using that route. Mm. Tall man in the car. <laughs> <laughs> look how, look, just check where the setting is. And the car passed. Oh Wait, car. is the car hmm? Manyo? Manyo car, yes, Manyo. It's a sweet, sweet ride. No, yes. you just don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like it. It's not for everybody. Mm. Yeah, like any car, any car, any car. You can. You ask why did the chicken close the road? It actually closed. <laughs> <laughs> and why did the chicken close the road? Mm. Because the road was there. Now check it. Hey, hey, the chicken actually closed the road. <laughs> <laughs> why did it close the road? I wonder. Because there was another chicken on this side. Look, another chicken crossing the road. Yeah. Not this big chicken. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, Yes, sir. You know what? Yes. I'm planning to pump it. Eh? Mm -hmm. I will pump it, bro. Then mm -hmm. I will put uh, those those rims, mm -hmm. those big rims. This is your car? Yes. Your photo car? Yes. I will go on like a Kabuja. You have not nice car. You can't it's not, 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 nothing about being old or new. This is my car. I can give you a red one training. <laughs> I have never, I have never, I have never had such a car. Okay, so okay. if you find me raining and you are having a car, you just leave me. Okay, let me be laid on. on. <laughs> but if you buy something <laughs> presentable, mm. nah, that, that one I will. Even Kebuja doesn't, even Kebuja, for Kebuja, you don't even need it. Mm. I walk in the rain. So Kebunja is a millionaire of old cars. <laughs> this guy is always on the Actually, he's a mechanic. But all of them are nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear me. I can't hear me. This one is called a Fiat Uno. <laughs> Fiat Uno. The name is good, but the guy is going down. Then there is this Mazda. Very fake. <laughs> and check out the number <laughs> bridge. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I check the car. It was an X. Eh? Yeah, LX 1.5. In its own time, it was a very expensive car. Really? Huh? So you right can imagine. These are 220. I don't know if you can see here. See, it used to go at 220 kilometers per hour. But I try. I drove this car. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> it doesn't understand. <laughs> you can. You can tell. You can tell. Alcohol, some random helmet at the back. Jeez, trash. Man. <laughs> Wait, how much? So, bro. It's okay, man. This one 100k. It's, okay, no, it's displacement. Hey. The amount of power it produces hey. and its displacement. Hey. Uh, for you is a bit under power. Hey. But if that you compare it. How much? How much CC does okay. it have? But that, but that is generally hey. same with uh, Japanese cars. Hmm. Japanese cars uh, you'll find the engine they'll give no if you uh, look like the Fiat, they have a 1.1 1 1.1 1 1 liter. Uh, the power I have is more than this. Hey. This is 1.1.5, 1. 1. right? Hey. Yeah. So you see I have 1.1, 1. 1, but I have more power than so it's the problem. So you it's, you can you can run faster than me? Yes. No. Huh? My car is more stable than yours. I'm, 
I knew I get a car. I didn't see you. Call you, see you, bro. Let me finish. I hope hey. hey, this car is not uh, is not stable. Not Try to even look good. Huh? Like the the distance between. The... Hey, <laughs> man, this car cannot corner, bro. No, no, <laughs> you cannot corner with uh, like 90 kilometers per hour. It can boom. What are you saying? Oh, you, you, oh, you have forgotten what happened to you that, but you, that time. You, but that time it was back, it was you know, it was gravel road. But but if it was mine, it, it could have still rolled. Oh no, man. On the gravel, the same road I roll. Eh? You would have rolled. Uh, welcome back, and uh, we are going back. We are driving back to our uh, to uh, to home uh, in Wakabete Kiambu. As you can see, I'm driving on Tifa Highway, and. Uh, we don't have too much traffic jam. I mean, the, the, the situation is normal. Uh, so, so we, it's like 20 kilometers from here. We need to, from the from Tika Highway, we'll be joining Guayaki Way, of which we are expecting too much traffic jam there. And then uh, from Guayaki Way, I will exit uh, towards my place. All right, see you, see you, see you, see you. Stay tuned. Then we go, we go home. coming back to we are coming back home and uh, we really appreciate you for being with us today all around where we are and uh, guys kindly those who are watching the video who haven't yet subscribed kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, and uh, so that we provide more content guys we are planning to give you more content more interesting content Please kindly check up, uh, hit the subscribe button for those who haven't subscribed to the button. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much, guys.